1.19 is going to add frogs into Minecraft. In this video, I'll explain how to use this 1.19 mob and all its abilities, including being able to create three new frog-like blocks. Let's check it out. Now frogs spawn in groups of 2 to 5 in swamp biomes, and also in the soon to be added mangrove swamp biome. Having the weirdest breeding food so far of any mob in the game, frogs actually breed with slime balls. So if we right click on two frogs with a slime ball, they will breed, but not as most normal mobs do. They actually breed more so like a turtle breeds. So now that they've bred there, one of the frogs is now pregnant with frog eggs, also known as frog spawn, and it's going to head to some water to lay down those eggs. So you can see this frog over here traveling to the water, and once it gets to a water block, it'll simply place the frog spawn right there. You actually cannot get this block in survival in your inventory like it is here, you can only do that in creative mode. As Silk Touch does not give you this item when breaking this block, the only main difference between breeding frogs and breeding turtles is with breeding turtles, you can infinitely breed them again and again and again, but frogs do have a standard breeding timer, so you cannot just breed them right after they've already bred. Now once frog spawn has been laid down, it'll just sit on top of the water here for some time, until eventually it'll hatch into not frogs, but into tadpoles. And this doesn't take too long, and each frog spawn can yield a decent amount of the tadpoles, certainly not just one each. Now these tadpoles will swim around and slowly mature into frogs, but they'll actually visually stay the same. They function very similarly to fish. So they can by accident get onto land, but if they do, they'll unfortunately start to die and they'll kind of jump around as fish do. As you'd assume, you can speed up their growth with a slime ball, so you can just hold it and right click on them. However, unlike most mobs with their favorite food, these baby tadpoles will not actually follow you if you're holding the slime. In fact, they'll just swim around just like normal. But if you go up to one and right click on it, then you can eventually have it grow up into a frog. But as you can see, the appearance stays the exact same, so we'll just spam click on this until it grows up. It does take quite a while, but you can see it is getting affected there, so we'll just click and click and click. And I'm actually surprised by how many of this it needs. Generally these do need quite a few though I've noticed in all the tests I've done. So these do take a bit longer to grow, and there you can see we have our frog. Now this isn't your traditional green bullfrog look, this is kind of an orange frog. And so frogs actually have different colors, but first, you can pick up tadpoles in a bucket. If you right click on a tadpole with a water bucket, you will get a bucket of tadpole or a tadpole bucket. And with this tadpole bucket, you can place it down and pick it up rather easily, just like this. And there's a really important point to moving around tadpoles, so you cannot pick up frogs in a bucket. You'll just place down your water, but there's absolutely no way of actually picking up a frog in a bucket. So what the tadpoles are for is to get other colors of frogs. So basically, if you do not want this stand standard orange frog, then there's two other types you can get if you'd like as well. As the type of tadpole you get is dependent on biome. Now the game has split up biomes into three different groups. The first one is temperate, the second one is cold, and the third one is warm or hot. Now you can basically think of these as you would think of most biomes in terms of those temperatures. So of course a very cold biome would count as a cold biome, but also just a standard non-snowy taiga is also counted as cold. Same with a mega taiga and things like that. Even the end dimension is counted as cold, whereas things like the nether, desert, mesas, and things like that are counted as warm biomes. And the third group is temperate biomes, and things like swamps, plains, forests, birch forests, things that you'd think of as sort of a temperate middle temperature biome. That is where you have another group of frogs as well. So frogs actually only spawn in the swamp biome, but you can get the other colors. So if we pick up our bucket of tadpole that we got from breeding our frogs and place it down in a cold biome just like this, basically when it does eventually grow up, it will not turn into the standard orange frog. It will turn into a different type of frog. It will turn into a green frog. You can see we now have the green frog right here. This is kind of more what you'd probably think of when you think of a frog. And there it is. And so yeah, any single frog that grows up from a tadpole in a cold biome gets this green frog texture. The actual functionality is very, very similar. There are some slight differences and I'll explain those in a second. Now let's look at the type of frog you get in a warm biome, as this is the frog of the cold biome and the orange one is the frog of the temperate biomes. All right, we've taken a tadpole on yet another journey, and we're gonna place it down in an obviously very warm biome. And we're gonna get this one to grow up 
Also, as a side note, you certainly do not need to right-click on them with slime bowls for them to grow up. It just makes it speedier, but they can definitely grow up on their own without this, and it's probably best not to make them forest grow like this anyway, as it uses so many. Anyway, we get a whitish frog, sort of a whitish beige gray color, but either way, it's a very nice looking frog, and you can see there the whites of its eyes really kind of blend into its texture there. But overall, again, the functionality is very, very similar, and these frogs live rather normally. The color of the frogs that you breed have nothing to do with the actual color that you'll get. So let's say we bred this gray frog with a green frog, and then we put the tadpoles in a swamp biome, or let's say a forest biome, we would still get an orange frog from it. So the only thing that determines the color is what biome those tadpoles grow up in. Frogs like to jump, and because of their very high jump height, they also have an added feature of not taking fall damage very easily. So they have to fall over 8 blocks to be able to take fall damage, but if they fall 8 blocks are completely fine, and of course anything lower than 8 blocks. So these guys are certainly very resistant to fall damage, but as you saw actually right there, if the frogs jump particularly high and fall down very low, they can take a little bit of fall damage there. Also, once a frog has grown up, it doesn't matter what biome it's in then, Whatever color it grew up as, it'll stay like that for the rest of its life. So you could have an orange frog in the snowy biome that way. All you really have to do is make sure that the frog itself grew up in a certain biome, but then you can move it to wherever you'd like. So you certainly don't have to worry about, let's say, having a zoo with all three types of frogs and having them all turn one color for the biome, because they definitely keep their color after they've grown up. Frogs in Minecraft have quite a unique diet. They like slimy things, so they like slimes and they like magma cubes. And if we put down a slime here and break it down to size, because the frogs can only eat the smallest part of the slime, so let's just break these down here. Now we have these small slimes here. These frogs will go over to them and eat them. And once they've eaten them, you can see them, they stick their tongue out there and eat the slime balls. And once they've eaten them, they just spit out a single slime ball for each one that they've eaten. And so technically, you could probably get more slime balls out of just having frogs eat them early game than you could from killing them yourself. So it's a useful thing if you're in the swamp biome and you want to get yourself more slime balls than normal, and you see a frog next to the slime you're killing, simply break it down to size, let the frog finish it up, and then you have a few more slime balls than you might otherwise have. The other thing that frogs like to eat is also what has to do with their special abilities depending on color, and that is magma cubes. Now magma cubes are kind of dangerous, but again, if we break this down to its smallest size, frogs love them, they think they're absolutely delicious. We'll get some frogs over here just like this. You'll notice that the frogs are snacking on those magma cubes, and what are they spitting out? Well, they're spitting out these right here. What is this block? It is a frog light. Now, frog light's a very beautiful new decorational block, and it's a rather difficult block to get, as that's the only way you can get it, is when a frog eats a magma cube. And now, to make a farm of this, of course, you'd want to maybe go to a bastion, something that has a magma cube spawner, or maybe just a basalt delta, bring your frog with you to the nether, and have them eat these up. These are called ochre frog lights. They have a very pastel texture, and when you place them down, they almost have a bit of a papery sound to them, papery squishy sound, very interesting. There's different colors of these frog lights, depending on which type of frog ate them. So if we look up frog lights right here, you can see there's also verdant frog lights and pearlescent frog lights. Now verdant frog lights come from when a green frog eats a magma cube, as you can see they're green. And the pearlescent frog lights come from when the whitish gray frogs from the warm biomes eat a magma cube, but they are quite difficult to get, so having a large amount of these in your build could certainly be a sign that you're quite a well-off player. And it's really nice to have these, because with these interesting pastel tones, something you do not usually see in Minecraft, these really add a whole nother range of building to the game, with these light purple, light orange, and light green tones. Also, these are actually lights, and they put off the same light level as, let's say, glowstone or a sea lantern, basically the same light level as any normal light block would. And even though the frogs like to snack on the magma cubes as well as the slimes, the slimes and the magma cubes don't really target or hurt the frogs, so they're completely safe to eat the magma cubes and slimes without danger of them being killed by their tasty snack. You may be wondering whatever happened to fireflies, as that was supposed to be frogs' favorite food. Well, fireflies are still being added in Minecraft 1.19, but not as frogs' favorite food. You see, the developers did something very similarly to what they did in 1.12, where basically they added added parrots into the game, saying that cookies would be their breeding food, sort of like a cracker, you know, Polly wants a cracker, but it ended up being that cookies, which have chocolate in them, would kill parrots in real life. And they found out the same thing about frogs, that fireflies, interestingly enough, are something that frogs do not eat, and would kill them if they ate them in real life. And so for accuracy, they have them not eat the fireflies, and instead have them eat the slimes, as well as the magma cubes. 
And the reason for that is probably that both slimes and magma cubes you'd think of as a very slimy mob, and frogs in real life are kind of a slimy thing as well, so it makes sense that the slimy thing would like eating slimy things. Also an interesting little bug that will probably be patched soon is if I just pause the game right here. You'll notice right there the frog is actually still moving. Well, it's not moving, but its animation is still going. You can see that one's animation is going too. It's not moving at all. If I unpause, it'll start moving again. But interestingly enough, it does appear as if that frog is moving, even though it's not. Hope you enjoyed the video, and just like these frogs, I'm going to hop away.